What's up YouTube? Today we're talking advertising lingo. I'm going to provide you with the agency terms you need to look like a pro when entering the ad industry. Let's go! This may not be the most entertaining video you've watched, but learning that ad terminology is a great way not to look like a rookie on your first day. Let's run through A to Z. All right, we're gonna start with print settings. Don't get bored. It's a need to know, I promise. All right, guys, so the bleed is the image or background color that extends beyond your artboard. This prevents any kind of minor printing error on the borders of your piece. Crop marks are short lines used on the final file to show the printer exactly where to trim the piece. The live area, it's a measurement that sits slightly within the trim to guarantee that copy and imported imagery does not get cut off on your final piece. Also known as four color, CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. This is the color profile you will want to use on printed pieces so that they look just how they do on your computer screen when they're printed. On the flip side of CMYK is RGB, the color profile you should use for the internet and broadcast. You have a broader range of color here, especially those bright, rich tones that you can't get on printed pieces. The PMS is a system for identifying exact ink colors. Each Pantone color is identified by a number and a letter. Pantone colors are used so that you get the exact color you see in the Pantone book instead of how it may appear on screen. DPI stands for dots per inch. The lower the DPI, the larger the dots. The higher DPI, the smaller. A higher DPI equals a higher resolution. You typically want around 300 DPI for a printed piece and between 72 and 150 DPI for web and broadcast. A white paper is a written description of ideas with very unpolished sketches or key visuals that sit next to them. They're mostly used just to sell the idea. This is typically done when there is a short timeline, but we need to present many ideas to the client. A comp is an initial layout from the art director that is sent to the client for approval and is used to guide the studio artist when they fine tune and tighten the art of final production. FPO stands for for position only and should be slapped on any piece of art that will need to be replaced down the design process. You might do this if you have not received the asset yet or it's too low of resolution to use for final printing. It's supposedly pronounced GIF, but I'll never say it. GIF is a peanut butter. A GIF is a compressed image used for the internet that typically minimizes file size. They can also be saved out with transparent backgrounds, which is always useful. Vector graphics, typically created in Illustrator, are graphics that can be enlarged infinitely without any issue to resolution. Don't know why it's called Greeking, you'll have to do that research on your own. But it is when you use meaningless text to show size and style of copy within your layouts. You could also call it lorem ipsum. Kerning is the space between two letters. Letting is the space between two lines of text. I remember kerning by thinking of popcorn kernels stuck between your teeth. Think of little popcorn kernels that are stuck between your letters. Letting I remember because of pencil lead. You can typically fit a pencil between two lines of copy. Weird, right? But you'll remember it. The mechanical is the final file that the studio artist creates and it's perfectly organized and separated out for the printer. The file is ready for press. A proof is a copy provided by the printer so that you can make one last final check and approve it before tons of copies get produced. So not the most exciting episode in the world, but hopefully watching the dictionary is better than reading it. Hopefully that equips you with just enough terminology to help you speak the language of advertising. Catch you later.